everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm Petra and tonight we're gonna do a look on a little glowy look it's really simple it's a little more about getting the skin just brightened up and having that really luminous finish to it so let's go ahead and get started so I've already moisturize my skin so it's already feeling nice and I've let the moisturizer soak in a little bit so the next thing that I'm going to add on is a primer and I'm just gonna use the Becca backlight primer here um, my skin's been giving me some issues lately and I don't know if it's just from using like a mixture of products I'm wondering if that Becca backlight primer is one of my culprits because it does seem like when I use it, my face tends to get a little itchy, but I don't know. I really don't want it to be that because I really like how this stuff is on the skin, especially in the daylight. Like, I don't feel like I notice it as much when I'm indoors, but as soon as I go outdoors and I hold up a mirror, it is so nice. I put it everywhere. I don't know, some people I know just put primer on more of their problem areas. I don't know, I guess that's in my T-zone. I don't have huge, huge pores, but I definitely do have a little bit more in this area here. Then I am going to take one of these. This is the Master Strobing Stick by Maybelline, and I am going to, this is in the shade 200. It's more like this. I'm really golden yellow in color, so I like to use colors that are like that. There's one that's number 100 and it's more of a pink tone, so if you're more cool toned, that might work better for you. So this one I'm just going to put kind of on the forehead and the highlight points. I like to put this stuff on um, underneath my foundation. And then I'm gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna put on some foundation. I'm just gonna go in with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Medium One or St. Moritz. Put that on. This is a really nice light. I don't wear a lot of heavy foundation anyway. Um, this is really more of a tinted moisturizer, but it's slightly thicker than your typical um, your typical foundation. Sorry, I think I said moisturizer, but anyway, so I'm just gonna dab that on. Take the good old beauty blender. Because I was using the Real Techniques blender um, this morning when I did my makeup for work. And it's funny because I just, this one, I don't know, the beauty blender. I know it's expensive, but I swear there is nothing like the sponge. And I'm gonna move on to brows for a second. I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is in the shade Medium Brown. It's a pretty good shade for me, I think so. I'm gonna just brush those suckers out. I'm not going too crazy with the brows either. And then I am just going to go ahead and brush a little bit of, I really like the e.l.f. gel. It's like there's an eyebrow gel and an eyelash gel, uh, like for clear mascara, which I don't know who uses clear mascara, but someone does apparently. I just use it, I use this whole thing for brow gel. And I think it's better than the Anastasia brow gel. It, I think this holds my brows a little bit better. And I like to fluff my brows up a bit. So, brows done. And then I am going to concealer. So I've had a chance to let the moisturizer kind of soak in a little bit and get my under eye area nice and plump, fill in those wrinkles I got. And then I'm going to take my YSL. This is the Touche Eclat. Touche Eclat, I don't know. I don't know French. I don't know how to say this, but it is in the shade, I think this is the peach one. Let's do a little swipe right in there to kind of color correct that blueness slightly. And you really don't need that much. You're not trying to change the color of your skin there. You're just trying, well you are, but you're just trying to kind of balance out that blueness. 
So that, and then I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I, well, let's try something different. I'm gonna use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is in the shade Light Warm. It's a little light, but we'll just go ahead and really brighten here. So we're just gonna add that on the forehead here. Ooh, taking the Beauty Blender again. And just gonna start blending that out. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with, um, I really love this by Hourglass. This is the diffused light shade here. And these are the ambient lighting powders, which I almost bought another one today, but I was like, Petra, you don't need another one. So just chill, chill with the ambient lighting powders. I'm gonna go in to set everything with my Morphe E2 brush, which this brush is perfect for just putting powder on the face. You can bronze with it. I'm just gonna dab some powder. And I just love this because it adds really seriously like just such a nice luminous light to your face. I don't know what it does, this powder, but it's magical. It just really adds a like veil of loveliness on your face. Do a little contour here. I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette here. And I'm so sad this fell on the floor and broke. I was just so sad because it was like brand new and lovely, and I it just bloop off the table. So, anyways, it's just makeup. All right, and then this brush is my Morphe E3 brush, and I'm going to just take the shade here, this middle shade, which is Shadow Play, and then this other one called Subconscious. Whew, they're so fallouty, but I really tap them off. And then I'm going to just go right here. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe E2, and just kind of buff it out just a little bit so it's not quite as harsh. I want some cheekbones, but I don't need a big old gigantic like bruise looking thing on my face. Then I'm going to bronze. I'm going to take one of the ambient lighting bronzers. This one is Radiant Bronze Light is the shade. So I'm going to go back with the same brush I contoured with, the E3. We're just gonna do on the top of the cheeks. So, I'm gonna go in with this, Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. I love this. Even though I think it has talc in it or whatever, I, I don't know, for some reason I feel like it kind of really goes well under the eye. Although that Urban Decay really dries really nicely and does not crease very well. I still like to set because I have, I have some pretty good wrinkles under there. They're not, they're just, you know, they're coming. The wrinkles are coming. What's next? Eyes. Okay, so this is all I'm going to do for my eyes. It's really simple. I've been loving, and this is kind of an older product, but this is the Maybelline Color Tattoos. This one is in the shade Bad to the Bronze. And I love just taking my finger and dipping in there and then I just seriously run this on my eye. Like one shade here and especially if I'm like in a hurry in the morning, which has been a lot lately, almost like every day and I'm just like, oh, I finished my skin, but oh, I don't have time to do an eye look now. <laughs> so. This has been kind of a lifesaver for me. And I kind of had this like sitting aside for a long time, like, well not a really long time, but a time. And then I've just been picking it up a lot more lately and really like it. And they kind of blending with my finger, kind of giving it like that kind of messy, sort of modern kind of look. And then I will go in with just a basic, this is the one I was using earlier today. This is my MAC 217 brush. So I'll just dab in there. I need to wash my brushes so bad. That's gotta happen this weekend. I'll just rub in the crease here and kind of like 
you know, just neaten it up a little bit, but I still kind of like to leave it a little bit messy. Like not messy, but just kind of a little bit, just a little bit undone, that's all. Then what I did this morning was I went in with one of these new, actually, you know what, first I'm going to brighten up my brow bone a little bit. I'm gonna actually just go in with the shade and light contour kit again and I'm just gonna take this shade here and put that up on my brow bone. So the next thing, oh yeah, so this is what I did this morning, was take one of my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow eyeshadows, which I love these because I have not been a fan of glitter, but these dry down really nicely and you don't have to deal with glue, you don't have to deal with any of that mess and the glitter being all loose. It's like just in a product like this. It's on a little wand. It's like, yes, genius for those who are lazy like me and don't want to deal with the high maintenance of glitter and blah, blah, blah. And I'm probably too old for glitter anyway, but who cares about that? All right, so I just take this and then all I'm going to do is, I don't wanna to lean too far over, I'm just going to dab in the inner corner here. Then what I'm gonna do is just take my pinky finger and I'm gonna dab like that to take off kind of a little bit of the excess. I didn't do it with my pinky on the other one, sorry. Cause I just want like kind of a few little sparkles there in the inner corner. I don't want like, I didn't want like a massive amount of sparkle in there. So I just wanted a little, just a touch, just a touch. And then I'm going to take my Voluminous Waterproof in Black Noir which is my favorite mascara of all time. I've used this for so long. And we're just gonna power that on. And then for my lower lashes, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever sample in Excessive Lash. I love this one for my lower lashes because it is a little small wand like this. So I don't have to always worry about touching you know, the big wand to my lash line. So annoying. Let's see, for highlights, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics, the So Effing Gold. And it looks like this. It's a huge pan of product. I have not used much of it, so let's go ahead and try that out for a little highlight. They are so crazy. Perfect for summer, I feel like. Or, I don't know, spring I guess we're in right now. <laughs> I don't know, they kind of blend together here in, in Oregon. And then blush, which I should have done that first, but whatever, we're just going to take this fun bright shade, which actually doesn't look super bright on your um, face, but this is the Dele, what is it? Delizioso, Delizioso Pink by Milani. The Milani blushes, if you want a cheap blush that is the bomb that stays on your face all day and that's just really good quality, I don't know what they do to these blushes, but they're the best. Like, seriously, two of my favorite blushes that I have out of everything, even my high end, are this one and the Luminoso one, which is this peach shade right here which I don't think I'm gonna use that one. I think I'm gonna do pink, but it's this shade. Another great summer shade, but I love those. They're so good. So this one gets a little pink like this. I'm just gonna really tap it off and just do a really light wash there. So we're gonna go in with a little bit more metallic-y we're gonna go in with this shade Mauve Squad by Smashbox. This is one of the Be Legendary Liquid Metal lipsticks, basically. I don't know the official name, but that's close enough. And this one is in Mauve Squad. So we're gonna take that. That is everything except we need to spray the face a little bit. 
So set everything. Move that hair a little bit out of the way. Whew. Oh yeah. Whoa. Now do I look sweaty? <laughs> All right, so let that dry just a little bit there. This is it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I hope it's nice and summery and bronzy and glowy for you. Um, summery spring. I know it's spring. I feel like it's kind of more of a summer look and I see glitter speckles on my head right now. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or week or whatever. And thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. I look crazy. Everybody does this all so cute. I just kind of slap it on. So yeah, it's not cute. I don't draw hearts. I don't do any of that. So I'm taking the beauty blender again. My fingers are dirty. I need a tissue. Hold on. My table, if you saw my table right now, you, you would be like, how do you do anything? How do you survive life, girlfriend? Oh,